Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to design animate banner on the left in Google Web Designer. Uh, the banner contains the effect of balloons moving and confetti uh, falling uh, from the top of the banner. Uh, as you can see, and the source files can be found on the website swiftbanners.com. This banner contains of elements which have been pre-designed beforehand, which are the balloons, the logo and the confetti. These are transparent PNG files. And the rest of the elements like the text, the background, the button are going to be designed in Google Web Designer. Okay, so let's now get right into the Google Web Designer. Click on new file, leave environment as double click, choose the dimensions and type in the name, which should be birthday or anything you want really. Click OK. Let's get started with the background. So let's click on linear gradient and choose our colors. I type in the names, but you can uh, choose them from the color picker. Um, in my case, it will be gray and a bit darker gray. I click on the top left corner and drag the rectangle to the bottom of the banner. Now let's go to the properties section on the right. Let's type in the name for the ID. And let's go to the gradient tool on the left. Turn it over so that the darker color is at the bottom of the banner. Okay, let's now go to the asset library section. I will now drag and drop my pre-designed elements from the other screen. I, uh, let's now place the logo on the banner. I want it to be aligned automatically, so I tick transform control and align to container. Align horizontal center. Hold shift and down our arrow to move it down. Let's do the same with confetti. Align it horizontally and to the top. And let's do the same with the balloons. Align it horizontally and to the top. Let's move it up a bit. And now let's name each of the layers so that uh, you can recognize them more easily. So balloons, confetti and the logo. OK, now let's go to the text tool on the left. Let's click on Add Web Font button and type in Berkshire Swash in the search field, the name of our font. Click OK. Now create the text field and we should align the text uh, centrally. Type in the text, Happy First Birthday. It's a bit too small, so I want to uh, change the size. Type in 30 in the size field. Let's change the color. OK. And go to the text field again, add the web font and type in uh, Leto. OK, I like this font. Create another text field. Uh, align it centrally and type in the text. So this is going to be our offer. Static banners, animated banners, and HTML5. This looks great, but still a bit too big. Yeah, this size is fine. This should be bold and a bit bigger. OK, this looks great. Let's move it up a bit by holding shift and up arrow. And let's name the layer. It's offer. Let's choose both layers and move them up a bit. OK, so now let's go to the tag tool on the left to create the button. Let's choose the solid color, type in the color number or choose the color from the picker. In this field, type in 10. This is the rounding of the corners of the button. 
let's draw the button now okay uh, and we want it to be aligned centrally that's better now uh, we want some text on the button now so go to the text tool and we want to change the font so choose Berkshire Swash and click on the gray work area to create the text field this is another way to create a text field type in the text click here choose the alignment and the color it's going to be white in my case okay and now align it to the center of the banner and move it down by a holding shift and down arrow okay let's name the layer now button and we want uh, another text to appear on the banner let's change the font again click on the gray work area and uh, i will now type in the uh, website address www.swiftbanners.com should be aligned centrally size 12 and align it to the center of the banner move it down a bit again okay that looks nice and now let's preview the banner in the chrome browser click on preview okay that looks great the next thing i'll show you is how to animate our banner okay we will now animate our banner uh, each of the layers is going to be animated separately we will start with the happy first birthday section uh, so it will appear uh, on our banner with a bounce move first and insert two keyframes go to the middle one now go to this section and enter three in both fields you can see the text has enlarged three times set opacity to zero and now we need to set easing to custom by dragging this point up it will create the bounce effect and remove the first keyframe uh, next thing to animate is the offer section so it will appear on our banner gradually without any additional movement so insert two keyframes go to the middle one set opacity to zero and by dragging this line you can see how it looks like yeah it looks fairly nice remove the first keyframe and now we will animate the button it will appear on our banner by expanding to the sides so again enter two keyframes and uh, go to the middle one uh, go to uh, this section and enter zero in X and Y fields set opacity to zero and now we will animate the click here text uh, so it should appear a bit after the button so again insert two keyframes go to the middle one and enter the same values as for the button so zero in X and Y opacity to zero and uh, we are setting the easing to ease for both of the elements it's defining the uh, animation style and remove both of the first uh, keyframes for uh, both of the elements last text we are going to animate is the website address it will appear on our banner gradually without any additional movements so enter two keyframes again and uh, set the middle one opacity to zero remove the first keyframe and now we will preview our banner in chrome so it looks fairly nice we will now animate the balloons okay so now let's go to google web designer and uh, we will need to create five keyframes in the balloons section so go there and insert keyframe one every second uh, we will try to create the effect of balloons trapped at the top of our banner 
and now go to one second mark hold shift and down arrow to move the balance down a bit we don't change anything in the second keyframe uh, and in the third keyframe we are going to change the rotation so I will now show you how to do this go to the 3 second mark, go to the rotation field and enter 5 and now go to the 4th second mark, enter minus 5 in the rotation field it's going to look like this Yep, that's the effect I wanted to achieve. And uh, next element to animate is the confetti. First thing we are going to do is uh, to double the confetti layer. So select it and go to edit, copy and paste. Okay, here it is. And uh, now name it however you want. I will just change the number to two. Now we need to move this layer up a bit, so hold shift and up arrow and we need to move it exactly 10 times. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we go. Go there, insert two keyframes. Uh, select both of them. We need to move both of the layers down exactly 10 times. Hold shift and down arrow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Okay, so here's the short preview. You can see how it looks like for now. And uh, now I want to create this nice effect of infinite loop of our, on our confetti layers. So in order to do this, select first keyframe for confetti number two, set opacity to zero. And now we want to go to the last keyframe of confetti one, set opacity to zero. And last keyframe of confetti number two, opacity set to one. Okay, so now we want to loop the whole animation infinitely. Go to the zero second mark, click on the blue triangle and edit label. Type in animation start, that's the label name. And now go to the eight second mark, the end of our banner, right click, add event, right click, edit event name, type in animation end and double click, go to timeline, go to and play, page one, label animation start and save. Let's preview the banner. And basically all animation is looped and the whole element, all of the elements uh, are animated smoothly. So there are basically two more things um, to be done for this project. Uh, let's go back to Google Web Designer. Uh, what I want to change is uh, the spelling. So uh, first, the ST should be spelled in a superscript. So go to code view, go to search, type in first. Okay, here it is. SD needs to be between SUP brackets, so uh, remove it and create the, the brackets SUP and type in SD in between. Save, go to design view and now you can drag this blue line to see that it's now corrected. And the last thing is creating the tab area which will direct the viewers to the website of your choice. Go to Components, drag and drop tab area. Go to Properties section, uh, change the ID to tab area. Go to Position and Size. And it needs to be placed uh, at the very top and needs to be to have the dimensions of your banner. And right click, go to Add Event. Tap area, touch and click, Google add, 
exit click on this one type in the id it can be whatever what matters is the url this needs to be the website uh, that the banner should direct the viewers to in my case i'm typing in swiftbanners.com hit save and let's see how it works let's test it and click on the banner let's see where it takes us okay yeah this definitely works uh, we are now on swiftbanners.com okay guys so the really last thing uh, we need to do for this project is to publish uh, our banner so you can do this by clicking publish uh, and choosing uh, publish locally and now you need to set the location to wherever you want and clicking the blue publish button the template for this banner can be found under the link uh, in the description of this uh, tutorial if you're interested in our uh, banner design services go to our website swiftbanners.com feel free to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials in the future and thanks for watching